My name is Severin Kulis Suzuki, and I'm an international ambassador for Rare, and I'm very happy to be, uh, be here today. I think Rare is essential to the global debate. It might be hard at first to think, well, what is this uh, relatively small acreage compared to the entire planet? But when it comes down to it, and I, I, I keep, I've come back to this um, after years of going to UN summits and global meetings on these huge global issues, I've come to realize it's all about coming home. It's all about the local. It's, you know, it's kind of cl cliche, think, think global, act local, but it's absolutely fundamentally true. If we were all doing our duty and taking care of our own backyards and taking care of our own land and really rooting ourselves to our own countries and our own communities, what a wonderful world this, this place would be. And that is the only tangible thing we can really do. Of course, we must lobby. Of course, we must um, keep abreast of what's happening on an international and a global level. But where can we actually see the fruits of our labor? We can see our actions in our community. And preservation of natural spaces is, um, is 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 more and more important, especially you know now we have climate change to really worry about and and realizing the role that carbon sinks, forests and oceans, the the important role that they play in regulating the planet's health. So by really protecting for and rooting to and being proud of and being involved in a piece of land like rare, you know, almost a thousand acres. Um, there's nothing more profound than that, really. That is what it's all about. There's many reasons why Rare is really crucial to this global dialogue, but a huge reason is getting people back outside. The snowshoe was beautiful. It was the perfect way to spend a Sunday morning. This country is so diverse, and every part of it, when you see it in its true natural state, is absolutely breathtaking. And you know, today, just being out in rare and looking at at the old growth out here, you know, seeing it in its natural state, you see it's it in its pristine beauty, and it's just it's like nothing else. I was here right almost at the beginning, about six or seven years ago. And, uh, and it just blows my mind the amount of community involvement that there is in this piece of land already. I mean, I know everybody's talking about how they, they, they're excited for Rare to be really established and um, how right now we're still in a phase of you know, really becoming, coming into our own. Um, but uh, to have the beautiful new newsletters that Rare, Rare does, to have the amount of nature walks. I mean, we went on one today and then on the hike, several others, um, other um, scientists were, were saying, hey, I have a talk coming up and we're doing a, an owl, owl uh, crawl and uh, prowl and um, oh, I have this walk coming up in, in a month. I mean, that's, uh, that's amazing. And to have um, a community that's willing to go to those talks also, I mean, that's, uh, you don't see that every day. Carbon and, and all of that as it affects global warming. I hope this continues. I hope that Rare continues to be a community because that's really what it is. And I think that's wonderful because we need more people outside, more people on the land. I hope it continues to do that, but I, I'm very proud of, of what it already has become. The evolution in our consciousness, I'm hoping, is not just a sense of, oh, we must protect the trees because they're beautiful to look at and uh, they're important. Um, but, but the conversation is now, hopefully, we've got to protect ourselves. We've got to save ourselves. And environmental issues are not just in one silo over here about trees and bees. They're about human well-being, human health. They're about social justice. I mean, climate change is the classic. You know, it's this mega issue that's that's an umbrella for everything else. But it's a classic issue of a of a of a problem caused by developed countries that now um, poor people are having to suffer from, and not only so poor people in developing countries, but in our own in our own nations. 
So, you know, we got all these issues and I hope that we have some better sense of, of why it matters. We will get through the environmental crises of the 21st century because of individuals, because of community involvement and community uh, engagement is exactly what you are doing here. We must engage with the problems. I think that's our duty as, as good citizens, as human beings really. But we also really have a responsibility to celebrate what we do have. And that is the essence of, of being human as well. And, and we need to start celebrating the harmonious um, beauty that we can have in nature. I think that we would have a far better way of living if we did.